Hi, my name is Alex. I'm 24 years old and I just want to um, share with you a little bit of how the Lord's always been there with me, even at times when it was really dark in my life. Um, when I was 16, I was raped and, um, you know, I live in a small town where something like that just doesn't happen. You know, it's unheard of to hear something like that happen. And um, I got a lot of backlash from for coming out and saying I was raped. And I just remember dealing with a lot. And I actually ended up thinking about taking my life one night. And I was set on going home and taking my life. You know, I just thought I can take all these prescription pills and go to sleep and no one will ever know. And luckily the Lord put it on someone's heart to call me and they called me that night and I hadn't spoken to this person in years and they were just like what's going on what's happened I heard and it actually ended up talking to me and just being there for me which is what I needed the most you know my family was there but it still felt like I was very much alone like I lost a lot of friends and just everything changed in one night but um you know I got over that obstacle but you know, the, the enemy, they keep, he keeps attacking. He'll always keep attacking because he doesn't ever want to see you overcome the mountain that's been put in front of you. And um, I eventually started using drugs to kind of cope with everything that was going on from the rape and, you know, dealing with it. And, um, you know, I just luckily was pulled out of that, you know, it took me stealing money from my grandparents and them finding out and my grandpa's just pretty much telling me either you get out of my house or you get clean. Like there's no options here. Like I'm not putting up with it. And, um, I got clean off of drugs and, you know, I was doing really great in life. You know, I felt like I was finally clean and sober and I was just where I needed to be, it felt like, you know, I wasn't spiritually connected to the Lord like I should have been or should be. But, um, I felt like everything was going fine. But then the enemy got mad because he knew I was, I was clean and I was sober and I was, I was actually headed down the path the Lord wanted. So he, one night, um, attacked again and um, I was actually in a drive-by shooting and uh, the whole side of the car that I was in the side I was sitting on had 12 bullet holes in it and um, two that should have hit me ended up lodged in the um, door handle and one that should have hit me in the back of the head um, missed because my friend pulled me down just in time and covered me and the bullet grazed him. But, you know, the Lord protected us again from the darkness that the enemy puts in the world. And I just remember everyone saying, Oh, you should be dead. You should be dead. Like, like the, we saw the car, we heard, we, you know, we seen it on the news and I just remember thinking, I was like, why am I here? And then it was like, one night the Lord just spoke to me and was, was like, because I have more plans for you here. Like, everything that I've been through in my life, every dark moment, you know, I can never understand why I came out of it. And it was, it's because the Lord has so much use for me and now... You know, I look back at where I was and I thank the Lord. You know, I gave my life to the Lord two years ago after um, finding out I was pregnant. Um, got married to my best friend who is also the father of my child. And I'm just, I'm in a place now where I have a, a family and a church family. And, you know, the Lord's just blessing me every day. You know, I still have obstacles I come through and... But I'm nowhere where I was in my past. Like, uh, I just thank the Lord every day for what he's done for me in my life. And for being there for me when I, when I wanted to end it. And when, you know, other things came in my way. Um, but 
I just want everyone to know that the Lord's always there and he's always, you know, has a plan for us. And I just thank him every day for where I'm at now. And I just, I can't thank him enough. Hey guys, everybody's got a story and we want to hear yours. That's right. So to see more stories like this, please click the watch more button at the end of this clip. And if you would like to submit your story, you can contact us on Facebook or you can email us at ucn.young at gmail.com. Just remember, your story could change theirs. Thanks okay. guys.